Yes, my name is uh, Harald Haas and uh, I'm professor of mobile communications at the University of Edinburgh. My research basically is uh, started from radio communications, radio wireless communications and I've recently with my newer research in, in Li-Fi, last 15 years, I've entered the field of sort of optical wireless communications. So Li-Fi is taking uh, off-the-shelf LED lights and turn them into high-speed wireless data transmitters. Um, creating the same experience we have with Wi-Fi, but instead of using radio, we use the visible light that's coming out of uh, the LED light bulb uh, to transmit data in very high speeds. The basic uh, principle is that the light that's coming out of, uh, of an LED lamp, or light in general, is part of the electromagnetic spectrum. It's the same as the radio is part of the electromagnetic spectrum, but it's higher frequencies. Um, in the past, we couldn't use that light uh, because the, the, uh, the light source was an incandescent light bulb. So the heat, the, the light process was primarily uh, generated by heat. Um, but with LED lights, the light is generated in a different way, in an, with an electronic process. And therefore, we can change the light intensity at very, very fast speeds. And that is called intensity modulation. So we vary the intensity of the light according to the incoming data at, at uh, frequencies uh, that are not recognizable by the human eye. And these variations in the intensity, these carry the information. And we pack as much information into these uh, uh, intensity changes as we can. On the other end of the communication link, we have a photo detector, photo transistor. And that is like the human eye. It's, it captures sort of the light. And it looks at the variation of the incoming light and then uh, tr transforms the, the incoming light flux, the varying incoming light flux, into a varying current. And with a transimpedance amplifier, we then change that variation in the current into a variation in the voltage. And then we have all the detection processes uh, after that stage so we can then recover the data that's been transmitted. I've demonstrated uh, for the first time to the public in sort of Li-Fi at TED Global in 2011. And uh, since then, I've spun out um, Pure Li-Fi, which um, develops Li-Fi components. And we have uh, now developed a component that co can be integrated into Lumineers. And uh, with a partner, uh, we have now integrated a um, Li-Fi modem into a Luminaire, and uh, that's, that's now sold by Lucy Bell. You can buy off the shelf now Li-Fi enabled Luminaire. So it's the first step. At the same time, we have developed a, s a small dongle. It's an USB power dongle that you can plug into um, your smartphone or your tablet computer. And it links to the Li-Fi Luminaire. And you can have multiple dongles that are connected to that single Luminaire. It's multi-use, and also it allows handover. So we have a complete system in operation. It's now been rolled out at uh, Sochiprom in, in, in Paris for a first sort of a larger scale pilot. And uh, the, the idea of, of, of PLIFI is to further sort of develop a, alongside or develop the, the very aggressive uh, product roadmap to then later integrate it into, into smartphones and into basically all, all the devices that use LEDs. Uh, speeds are a very good question, and, uh, and uh, they are all obviously sort of dependent on what kind of LED light source you would be using. So we have the classic sort of uh, phosphorus coated LED, which is a blue LED with a phosphorus coating on top. Then we have the RGB LEDs, and then we have micro LEDs, and we have lasers. So depending on what source we use, uh, we can get some data rates out of it. So with the phosphorus coated LED, the limit is roughly about 100 megabit per second. Uh, we have recently shown in, a, in an experiment that, for example, with a single uh, micro LED, you can achieve record speeds of 8 gigabit per second. But our research has shown that, for example, when we use the lasers, uh, with lasers and the much higher bandwidth that they provide and the narrow spectral width, we can go up to 100 gigabit per second. So that is an application that is for example, we foresee target uh, data center application with these kind of speeds. We're coming now to the stage where the LED source is not limiting the data rates, it's the, the receiver. So we need to start working on the receiver end. So the, the, the capabilities are there. The road blocker for the mass market adoption are primarily to convince people that it works and it 
bring, that it brings the advantages that we always propagate. Basically, showing what it can do is really then a next stage of uh, people's mindset and adoption of the technology. And that is why we are very interested to bring that technology out to the general public. So it's uh, seeing is believing. And we need to get, get over that stage. And that is only possible by running large scale pilots. Um, it's like with, with every new technology, we need to overcome this mental barrier of adoption. And what then is done, we will see that, that avalanche.